You're watching the American Conference on ESPN. From the XL Center, the defending national champion Yukon Huskies host the American Conference leader, Tulsa Golden Hurricane. Let's take a look at the standings in the American Conference. Tulsa has won 12 of its last 13. And Len Elmore, UConn, has its most important 72-hour stretch coming up tonight and then Saturday at SMU. Well, this is a huge game for UConn. they got a chance to move up the conference standings ladder here at UConn. And the beat goes on. The Huskies have the basketball first. We are underway on a Thursday night here on ESPN2. Daniel Hamilton. Again from the left wing, and again, nothing but net for Hamilton. I think in getting the ball into the gaps against the pressure. Boat right misfires. Strong rebound. Samuel with the bucket and a foul on the rebound underneath. Yeah. As Tulsa won that game. This time around, though, it seems Tulsa more tentative. Or even harder. Challenge UConn even more in the paint with Brima out. Boat right for three. You take a look at Kevin Ollie right now, really excited about the pressure his team is applying. He's down in defensive stance. Look at him, Doug. He wants to get out there himself. He can still go. That was one thing he was quick to say this afternoon that he has been very pleased with his team's defense this season. The flight didn't look so well as the ball was turning the wrong way. Easy, easy, almost too easy for Ryan. Hamilton spins and kicks it back out to Calhoun who drives strong right to the basket. But that's when they've had success and they've got to continue to go after a nice move. Purvis off the spin forces a tough shot. The miss by Harrison has the Huskies leaking the other way. And, uh, Shaquille Harrison and James Woodard haven't scored. Well Hamilton starts the second half just like he started the first. Tulsa was listening to Frank Hayes. Harrison denied by Brima. Here come the Huskies. Boatwright. I'll tell you what, man, that is such a luxury to have a guy like that to be able to start the fast break off of a defensive play. And this, you know, we talk about the anticipation of Amita Brima. He gets there, blocks the shot, and the Huskies are off to the races. You have got to go with authority. You have to got to go and challenge him into his body. Oh, oh right. The good. sweet reverse. Shot clock down to five. Brima. <laughs> you said the big man needed more shots. That time Wright gave him too much respect. He should have gone straight up with it as soon as he received it. Oh, you take a few charges. They leave some room. You can always get him back. That's insult to injury right there. Boatwright has thought he's been fouled on three point shots. Nice move. Hamilton. Here goes Boatwright. Good gracious. Can't pick up your dribble there. Calhoun trying to bail him out. Nolan on the offensive glass. Andy banks it in. Shot clock under 10 once again. Boat ride with his dribble. Good screen set by Nolan. And that's another three for number 11. And if you're an opponent, that's a dangerous combination. First time. And I mentioned before, playmakers got to make plays. You grind out the shot clock. You take a look. Was that four? And Boat Wright created for himself on that one. And Marcus Kennedy have played really well. They would definitely, in my mind, be the team that can go the furthest. Farthest. Purvis mid range shot in the second half. Here goes Samuel. Boat right. And that number just keeps going up. Boat right back out Purvis. Pretty good looking set right there Len. Purvis. Hangs in the air and scores again. He's having a big second half, up to 14 points. And you get in the crunch time during the regular season, and then even in the NCAA tournament, should they make it, you're going to need him. And he's able to take care of business here tonight. 
Well, I'll tell you, I like the fact that Kevin doesn't exercise and coach speak. He actually does it. You know, they tell you one game at a time. And you know. Very impressive for Connecticut tonight. Coach Ollie's Huskies win it 70 to 45, taking down the first place team in the American Athletic Conference.